The console war continues as Netflix jumps into the fray, all while a new game rears its spooky head. Hey guys, I'm Yasuo Ho and this is The Gamer News. No better way to end a weekend other than stories about video games. And first on the list is how the PS5 outsells the Xbox Series XS 2 to 1 during 2021's first quarter. 2.83 million PS5s were sold during the first three months, twice more than Xbox Series XS 1.31 million. Microsoft's hardware revenue is 232% up year on year, so the Xbox was meant to be on more of a level playing field with PlayStation. But none of that matters since the Nintendo Switch eclipses both of them. Nintendo sold 5.86 million of its consoles this first quarter, surpassing 84 million units for the financial year ending March 2021. Although the consoles would have certainly done better without the production issues, especially the PS5, the Switch takes home gold. The age-old question, games or television? Why not both? Netflix turns out to be approaching several video game industry executives regarding their seeking expansion into video games. Although these executives are unknown, we do know Netflix considers offering a bundle of games similar to Apple's online subscription. From this quote over a tech radar, it seems the game may be more akin to Black Mirror Bandersnatch or games based on popular shows like Stranger Things, despite the latter's lukewarm reception. Speaking of spooky, Liza P, a Pinocchio-inspired action RPG, released its first trailer. Neowiz and Round 8 Studios' second collab is a Souls-like action RPG, so uh, this could happen. <laughs> its trailer prologue centers around Pinocchio, a puppet mechanoid seeking to become human in a city overcome by a deadly plague. As bare bones as the trailer is, its Steam page reveals the game takes place in Krat, with a complex combat system as players create their own combinations of weapons and change parts of Pinocchio's body to win certain battles. Pinocchio's inherent lying also plays an important role in telling the story. Keep an eye out for this game on the PS5, Xbox Series XS, and PC. What do you guys think? Do you think the PlayStation or Xbox will ever outsell the Nintendo Switch? What are Netflix's plans? Despite only being revealed, what are your thoughts on Lies of P? Comment below. I'm Yezwo Ho, and don't forget to check out TheGamer.com, the leading source of gaming news, reviews, and interviews. See ya. For consistent updates on these stories, click on the links below to the article and website. If you enjoy the content, consider liking and subscribing.